we're now going to evaluate expressions containing fractions, so do not forget how to perform operations on fractions. How do you multiply two fractions? Numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. How do you divide two fractions? It's the first fraction times the reciprocal of the second fraction, and how do you add or subtract fractions? There, you've got to have the same denominators. So keep in mind how to perform operations on fractions, and keep in mind order of operations. Remember order of operations. You perform operations within grouping symbols, such as parentheses or brackets, and also possibly square root symbols or fraction bars. Then what's after that? Evaluate any expressions containing exponents, then multiply or divide from left to right, then add or subtract from left to right. So just go slowly, remember those things, and you'll be fine. Let's evaluate this expression. Notice I have multiplication, and then I have subtraction within a set of parentheses, so we will work within the set of parentheses first. That's our set of grouping symbols. So this is 2 over 7 times, now I can think of 6 as 6 over 1, and I am then subtracting fractions. When you subtract fractions, remember you've got to have the same denominators. What's the least common denominator for denominators of 1 and 6? It is 6. So let's take this 6 over 1, and what will we multiply by in order to have a denominator of 6? Well, 1 times 6 is 6, and whatever I multiply by there, remember I've got to multiply by the same number in the numerator. So I'm taking this number 6 and I'm multiplying it by a form of 1, which is 6 over 6 and then minus, let me write down the second fraction, 1, 6. So let's see what we have. We have still 2 sevenths times, 6 times 6 is 36 over 6, minus 1 over 6, and now I can perform the operation within the parentheses because the denominators are the same. 36 minus 1, that is 35 over 6. And now we have left to multiply. How do you multiply? Well, it's simply numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. Now, I do notice that 7 and 35 have a common factor of 7, and 2 and 6 have a common factor of 2. So I'm going to take a step and write everything as a product of prime numbers. So 2 in the numerator, 35 I'll write as 7 times 5 in the numerator. In the denominator, 7. And in the denominator, I'll write 6 as 2 times 3. I'll just go this way. Common factor of 2, common factor of 7, I have 1 times 1 times 5 over 1 times 1 times 3, so I have 5 thirds. Now that's an improper fraction. You can leave it as 5 thirds, or you can write it as 1 and 2 thirds. There is my expression evaluated.